when City News visited the campus of the EP College of Education Bimbila Monday morning. There were clear signs of the effect of the strike. For instance, there was no ration for students as the storekeeper, matron, chief cook, and the cooking staff were all not available due to the strike. The Dino Hall master tells City News he is worried about the effect on the students. City News interacted with some of the students and they spoke about their frustration with the current situation. Because of the strike, uh, we are here to help the, get the kitchen so that we can help and cook. We have to be in class um, right now, but because we want to help our colleagues to also get something to eat, we are here to also cook. So you are sacrificing? Yes, we are sacrificing. Uh, we are bringing out all our efforts so that um, other students can get something to eat. The principal of the college, Dr. Ibrahim James Grundo, has been speaking to City News on the challenges and the measures put in place. The difficulty really I have when I must just cook for them, the students, is that uh, when we allow them to go to town to buy food, they cannot get food to buy. He is very hopeful that the issue will be addressed soon. But I think raising surely will, uh, will come to play. And of course, we also pray that uh, the parties involved in this will sit on the table and resolve issues as a matter of agency. The students also made an appeal to the government to address the situation for the non-teaching staff to return to work. This strike has really affected academics as a general. And looking at things, uh, I don't think we can, things can operate well if non-teaching staff are on strike because some such things have to be released from the store's office and even there should be some finance, funds from the Air Force office to finance the activities of the college. So if these people are on strike, I don't think the smooth running of the affairs of the college will, work, will be effective. Another major challenge of the college has to do with water supply. The low voltage from VRA has affected motors pumping water to the college and students go through a lot in assessing water. Here is the principal of the college saying efforts are underway to resolve the issue. The issue is that our pump, the pump that pumps water to campus is broken down, it's totally uh, destroyed because of the low current that we have in, in Bimbla here. So sometimes either it is too low and then when they put it on sometimes it is too much and so the pumps have been getting uh, destroyed so <laughs> that is a problem we have now